usually here on Sean View Entertainment on YouTube.com where I tell you to like the video and subscribe. I'm usually lost for words at how horrible and how atrocious the show is. But tonight, Monday Night Raw did something that they haven't done in a long time. Kept my eyes glued to the TV. Kept me wanting more. Kept me interested. Kept me invested. This was one hell of a Monday Night Raw from start to finish. I really don't have many complaints. And if anyone has complaints about the show, it's just nitpicking. And it's really getting down to little itty, itty, bitty tea deals. A night where we saw great effective mic work with the return of Mick Foley. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Mick Foley came down during the Dean Ambrose-Seth Rollins segment. We've seen Randy Orton go back to his Viper ways, go back to his sadistic ways, hitting an RKO on Paul Heyman and on John Cena. We also saw some strong matches. We saw Damian Mizdow get the win over Sheamus. We saw the authority kick off Raw, and we've seen Orton and Seth, Seth Rollins, you know, complaining about in trying to figure out, well, I'm the main event. No, I'm the main event. Who's the better man? Who's superior? Uh, you know, the, the wedge is being driven. You can see where there's a, it's getting volatile between Orton and Rollins. Uh, we've seen AJ Lee versus Alicia Fox. We would learn, uh, apparently it was Seth Rollins that came up with the idea that at Hell in the Cell, Randy Orton versus John Cena will now be a number one contenders match, the, the winner facing WWE World Champion Brock Lesnar in the future. Now, is that just to keep the authority in check is that so things don't get too volatile in the authority on a night where we saw like i said a strong promo work between randy orton and john cena we would see paul Heyman come down and interrupt we would see brie bella versus summer Rae. uh raw definitely had its moments tonight i mean like i said this monday night raw from from the beginning of the show to the main event we've seen hell over monday night raw all night long we've seen the hellish structure we've seen it come down we see it raised Hell in the cell, ladies and gentlemen. If WWE would have done this every single week, I would have been more invested. I would have been more emotional into Hell in the Cell. But that's okay. This is why they say anything can happen in WWE. Just when you think all hope's lost, just when you think all the cards are down, just when you think the WWE can't bounce back, they come back with a strong show like this. The creative team must have been on there high horse today the creative team must have been drinking that lot of caffeine vince mcmahon and triple h must have really had their finger on that pulse i don't think that this show was written uh right before raw i don't have a feeling that, that this show was written as raw was going on it felt like there was order it felt like that there was um flow to the show it felt like everything fit into place like i said uh, I, sean what was your favorite part of raw what did you like the best cesaro versus ziggler another great match another standout match I mean, I can't tell you how impressed I was with this show. I, I'm almost lost for words. That's why I can't get my words straight. That's why I can't get out to you. I, I can't believe what I saw on Raw. I can't believe what the WWE pulled out, the product they put out in front of us. Why can't they do this on a consistent basis? Why can't they do this from week to week, from bell to bell, from segment to segment? Things actually made sense. This actually makes me want to watch Hell in the Cell. Yes, WWE did something they haven't done in a long time for me to watch a pay-per-view. They made me want to watch a pay-per-view. They made me want to watch the WWE Network. They made me want to save and, 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 and still be subscribed to the WWE Network. You had guys like Cena. You had Orton. You had Rollins. You had Ambrose. You had all the ingredients for a combustible unit. And this Raw hit on all cylinders. Monday Night Raw never lost steam. It never lost momentum. Like I said, I am impressed Great job by the WWE. I'm sick and tired of coming on here and hating and criticizing and manipulating. I'm sick and tired of talking bad about the WWE. This is the kind of shows we need. This is the kind of shows we want. This is why WWE is in the reality era, the PG era. But it shows that it can still be good. It can still be smart. And it can still be um, what it should be. And that's the WWE. Subscribe.